What's up everybody, Nate here from Out of the Basement bringing you a brand new action figure review. Today from Star Wars The Black Series, we are looking at R4 6DO. This is Grief Karga's droid from Season 3 of The Mandalorian. And look at that, we're already getting another astromech droid here. This is on that new updated body from last year. And I'm really happy that it seems like Hasbro has been just pumping out the astromechs. We've already got three so far in the line. And this one being an R4 unit definitely opens up some potential for a couple other repaints as well, which I would love to see. This is a Walmart exclusive. It's very easy to get. It is just sitting in stock on Walmart's website. So if you want it, you can pick it up. I'm sure it's probably gonna go on sale too at some point. It's definitely not the most desirable astromech droid as it was just a really brief appearance in Mandalorian season three. When I actually saw the figure, I was like, this was in the show question mark but it actually is just you know don't really see him too much but that's okay i'm a huge fan of astromech droids i will literally take any astromech that they want to put on this brand new updated body so for me it was an absolute no-brainer let's just jump into it though we'll take a look at the packaging here this is in the mandalorian slanted galaxy style packaging. We got a nice mural shot on the side, which you can see Navarro in the background and some Mandalorian shoulder armor there. We do have a bio on the back if you wanna pause it and read it. This is the 35th Mandalorian figure in the galaxy subline. And we also have a barcode on the bottom. So let's go ahead. We're gonna get this little guy out of the packaging and we'll take a look at the accessories. And this time all the little astromech accessories are completely reused. We don't have any new bits here. All of these either came with R2 or R5, but that's okay. So we have this little doohickey with some gold paint on it. And then this one, which has a little bit of black. The little claw tool here is included as well. And then the arrow looking attachment here comes with the droid as well. Just like the other droids, you just open these panels up though, and there's three little slots in there so you can just plug them right in and use them to your heart's desire. And here is R4 in all of its astromech glory. I have it totally opened up so you can see all the different panels and things that pop off. This is actually the first time that we're doing a straight up full review of this new astromech body. R2 went straight to Black Series banger status, and then R5 I ended up doing just a comparison with the original figure four. So it is cool to see all the different little details and everything totally laid out for the first time here on the channel. And this is just another really fun astromech. It's got a ton of paint on it, which is really nice to see. As I always harp on and on about on the channel, you know, the days of Black Series figures being painted seem to be getting further and further away from us. So when they give us something like this, that while it is just a reused figure, we do have a new head sculpt for the astromech and we also have tons of paint details even paint on the back of the figure so that is always a huge win in my book so let's go ahead we're going to get him off the stand and we'll take a closer look so like i was saying this is a brand new head sculpt for the astromech so we've never actually had the r4 unit in the black series so this is a first and that's always something that's great to see and like i mentioned earlier there are a couple repaints that they could easily do and i hope they do mainly the green and sort of cream colored one from a new hope that we see on the tantive 4 and then there's also an imperial version of the r4 droid that's like a black and navy blue variant so hopefully they give us both of those i would absolutely love to pick them up this guy is just loaded up with tons of paint details we got the black eye we have tons of orange and red and silver throughout on the head Everything just looks really nice and clean, even on the top there. We've got some great details. On the back, we have little white paint apps on the panels and some orange and silver as well. Of course, the front is no different. We get some orange plastic, more of those white details, and tons of silver paint here as well. This is just a really nice looking astromech. And that's what I love about Star Wars too is, you know, I'm sure like most of us out there, we probably don't have a very deep personal connection with this droid, but it's just a cool looking astromech. So, you know, you got to pick it up and put it on the shelf and something like this. Obviously it is Mandalorian specific, but personally, I think you can just pretty much put it wherever you'd like on the shelf, even if you don't collect any of the Mandalorian stuff. Again, that great detailing continues on to the arms, which are just loaded to the brim with paint. 
Love how much paint is on this little dude. And it's so cleanly applied as well. The silver looks great. The orange is nicely done. We even have a little bit of paint on the third leg here, which is always, always great to see. Just like the other Astromechs too, in case you were wondering, the head does pop up so you can store all of the different accessories on the inside, which again is just another fantastic iteration because those accessories are so tiny, very easy to lose. So it's great that they came up with this storage so that it's less likely to actually misplace them. And one thing I do want to point out too, this was actually discovered by Robo, and I didn't know this, but I thought it was pretty cool, is that you can actually turn the head to the right here and it'll pop off. You can see there's little notches on the inside. So it makes it a lot easier to actually put the accessories in. And then of course, you know, you just kind of pop the head back on and twist it back in place and then there you go. Nice little tip for you there to make storing those accessories just a little bit easier. And as far as articulation goes, the head can move side to side, you know, it goes all the way around, no problem at all. The arms can rotate fully. No butterfly joints on the astromech. Come on, Hasbro. But we do have a little back and forth for his feet and for the third foot as well, which of course it can just store right up on the inside of the figure as well. But, you know, of course, it's an astromech droid. I don't think we're really expecting tons of super dynamic options for the articulation. And so now I'll just show you how he compares to a couple Grief Kargas and some other astromechs that we have in the line. Unfortunately, we don't have that Season 3 Grief Karga just yet. I do hope we get him in the future. So for now, here is a comparison between the Black Series Season 1 and Season 2 look. And then we have R5-D4 and R2. These are both the updated Astromech Black Series versions. R2 has the Bandai Model Kit drink tray mounted on him. I hope eventually we just get a Black Series version of that, but for now, you know, it looks pretty damn awesome like that. And for the last comparison, here is R4 6DO with R4 i9. This is the Imperial Astromech that I mentioned earlier in the review. That's actually a Bandai model kit version. They have also done the green and cream colored version from A New Hope as well, but I don't have that one, but I do have this one. So it's nice to see the comparison between the two and I think they look great together. But of course, you know, Bandai, the model kits, they've had the Astromech size down since day one. And so there you have it. There was my review for R4 6DO, another great Astromech to put on the shelf in the Black Series. This little guy has got me so hyped. I love the new Astromech body. I will buy any and all Astromechs that they wanna give us. And even though this guy is definitely a little on the pricier side as it is a $24.99 figure, doesn't really come with a whole lot, I fully believe that it will also go on clearance. So I would say if you haven't picked this one up already, you could probably just wait and there'll most likely be a sale down the road and he'll definitely be worth it on a discount. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed my review. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. I gotta give a big shout out and a special thank you to all of our channel members. Your continued support is truly appreciated. And thank you to everyone else out there for watching. I'm Nate from Out of the Basement and I will see you next time.